Quantum. Und Mechanik Quantik. Und Quantentheorie. Max Planck und Albert Einstein. Dass die Quantentheorie. Quantum Mechanical. Quantum Mechanics. Quantum Mechanics. Quantum Mechanics. Quantum Mechanics. So what is quantum mechanics? Quantum mechanics is essentially quantum. It's the quantization of quantum. But the interesting thing about quantum theory is that the most accurate theory that has ever been written down. In the quantum world, quantum computers, quantum superposition, quantum regime, quantum technology, quantum teleportation, quantum communication satellite, quantum scale model, quantum realm, quantum state, quantum weirdness, quantum physique, quantum physics, quantum physicist. <laughs> so far, so good. Nothing strange here. Now, let's go quantum. <laughs> Is quantum computing and quantum breakthroughs, quantum innovation going to lead to something that's going to make us feel more safe or is it going to make us feel more imperiled? I believe that uh, life is kind of uniquely poised between the quantum and the classical world. I think physics is central to quantum answers. I don't think physics is central to quantum questions. What I'm taking away from the quantum theme is the kind of end of a one overarching way of looking at the world. As a result of these Bell experiments, we have to accept that nature is not classical. We have to accept that our way of thinking about things is actually to some extent wrong. The, the view of cubism is that quantum mechanics is an aid to our gambling about the world. It's an invitation to take a philosophical question into the lab. And how often do you get to take philosophy into the lab? From quantum, I have learned to think differently about how to think. It always feels like my reality is warped. It's like a quantum phenomenon of reality weirdness. Consciousness and, by extension, human subjectivity is a macroscopic quantum mechanical phenomenon. We're basically walking wave functions. I'm not sure I'm persuaded yet that the Q effect actually exists until we actually tap quantum mechanics as in a technological sense. I love this idea of problem solving and finding out things. And this is the ultimate mystery to solve, you know, how the universe works. A time is coming where we're going to be making use of those distinct and different aspects of the quantum world and using those different aspects for, for revolutionary disruptive things. The fact is almost everything around us is powered by our mastery of the most basic phenomena in quantum mechanics. I think the best possible uses of quantum computing are going to be applications of quantum artificial intelligence. There are still at least four strong competing technologies to see which one will be the best technology for quantum computing. Quantum technology was something that the governments are very interested in at the moment, even if we don't understand fully the basics of the science itself. Every country that has the, the resources is probably trying to, to develop a quantum computer because it would, if developed, it would actually, in effect, break many of the security protocols that we use on the internet. I'm absolutely convinced that by working with government and working with defence that we make them fully aware of the implications and have them on site as we develop the technology. I'm sure people will find a way to, to, use, uh, to use quantum computers in warfare. There is no doubt about it. Anything useful is weaponizable. Quantum computer will not be able to answer how we should ethically use Technologies. You know, the distance between we and God is a quantum computer. <laughs>